Whether you are currently a senior or you're a junior or you're earlier in the process, at some point you're going to be dealing with the issue of college interviews. And so I wanted to share some advice for students who are going through that process or will be in the future. The biggest tip I can give is to practice. Practice because interviews can be nerve-wracking. You can get the sweaty palms. You can get the lump in your stomach. You can get heart racing. And it's natural. It's normal in any high-stakes event to feel a bit nervous. But there are ways that you can mitigate this. And practicing with a friend or a family member or a teacher can really be helpful. You never really know exactly what interviewers are going to ask, but there are some common questions they do ask. And the goal is not to have a prepared or canned response to their question. Instead, you just want to feel comfortable and let your honest, natural answers flow organically. I wanted to walk through some of the common questions they might ask, and I'm not going to give you responses because... The responses are personal. They're particular to you. But anyway, here they are. Biggest question is, tell me about yourself. And you don't want to just rattle off a laundry list from your resume. You really want to give the interviewer a personal side to you. What are some of your hobbies? What are your interests? What are your goals? What are your fears? Any and all of that is perfectly valid. The point is to be honest, be candid, and be vulnerable. Don't try to present yourself as someone perfect. They might also ask you what you like to do in your free time. This is a great place to talk about your extracurriculars and why you like them, how you got into them in the first place, and how you might want to continue them in college. And speaking of college, they'll probably ask you, why do you want to go to their school in particular? Since they're an alum, they obviously know a lot about the school, and they expect you to know something about the school also. So show that you've done, you've done your homework. Show them what appealed to you about this college in the first place and what makes you a good fit. And of course, you want to show them what you're going to bring to the university environment. They'll probably ask you about your major or a potential major and why you want to study it. So have some good reasons there. You don't want to simply say because your parents told you to. They might ask you, as if it were a job interview, what are your strengths and weaknesses? And people always struggle with the weaknesses portion of that because you don't want to seem weak. You don't want to seem flawed. So the question is, how do you deal with your weaknesses? What are you doing to correct them or address them? How are you looking to improve yourself? You could also dodge this one a bit by describing a past weakness that you have sent since worked to overcome. They might also ask you about any of your essay questions, whether it's your main essay or supplemental essays, any essays that are particular to the school. And so you just want to elaborate on those, feel comfortable talking about them, maybe share some details that didn't make it into the final draft of your essay. They also want to know what your plans are going to be after college. What are your career goals? Are you considering graduate school? That's not necessary, of course, but If that is relevant to you, you do want to talk about that. And they also might want to ask you something about high school and what you liked most, what you liked least. So just be thinking about these things. Again, you don't want to have a pre-programmed answer. You don't want it to be scripted. But you do want to have at least thought about these things so that if they do come up, you'll be ready. And speaking of getting ready, part of that is grooming. Part of that is how you dress. You don't necessarily have to wear a suit, but you do want to look professional. You do want to look polished. You do want to dress neat and clean, no ripped jeans, no raggedy sneakers. You want to have nice dress shoes. You want to have at least a collared suit if you're a guy. You want to have something professional looking no matter what. And you want to show up early. You want to pay attention. Don't be on your phone. Don't be distracted. Don't try to think about what you're going to say next while the interviewer is speaking. It will come across that you're not paying attention. And part of a conversation is give and take. It is back and forth. 
some of the best interviews are the ones where the interviewer speaks the most, and then they walk away saying, wow, what a great kid, even though you barely said anything at all. Some people just like to hear themselves talk, and regardless, you want them to like you. That's the most important thing to walk away from the interview with. So anyway, hope you found this helpful. If so, please subscribe to the podcast to be notified of new episodes as I release them. Please feel free to reach out directly if you have any questions at all or any ideas for future podcast episodes. You can email me directly at steve at collegeadmissionstoolbox.com. Anyway, thanks for listening. All the best and take care.